Okay, so now we will be starting our facial disc. This section tends to be lighter too. So in order to have some nice transition, we're going to start with a darker color right underneath this section here, underneath that eyebrow, and then build the lighter all the way around. And our brush strokes are going to be radiating out from the eye, radiating out from the eye, coming out like this because that's how the feathers of the owl's face grow naturally. So they have that facial disc that's designed for funneling sound that's coming at them that they're paying attention to, like a prey item, possible predator, because these are not the largest owls out there in the night. The Eastern Screech Owls have to worry about the barred and the great horned owls in a lot of their range. And they're also going to be listening out for prey. They've got really great hearing, and the shape of their face helps funnel sound to those ears. So that's why they have such a flat face. So we are going to be taking our brown with a little, little bit of black and adding in a little bit of contrast and be very careful of your beautifully formed eye here. Don't wanna let that work go to waste. And then just falling just a little bit onto the beak. Again, repeat that on the other side. A little bit onto the beak, keeping it focused right underneath our V. I like to continue it up until the bottom of the tuft too. Now we are going to be mixing what's already on our brush with white to create another off white. And it's not gonna be just black in there, it's gonna be like a warm tone off white with that brown. And so we're just gonna be filling in the entire facial disc and I'll be going just past this beak here. Okay, so nice and we'll that there, just past there, good. Make sure we maintain the integrity, the shape of our beak. There we go, that looks good. And you can wrap around the eye to make sure we protect that shape and make sure your brush doesn't get too bogged down because then you're not gonna have a nice tip to use. It's not gonna be a consistent brush stroke. So then after we get that nice base, we can start flicking outwards without having to worry about our eye line getting mixed or the eye shape getting messed up. And then blend that a little bit into that still wet brown and out towards the sides of the face. Also, you're going to want to put down a nice thick layer here and creating that nice facial disc. Nice and consistent all the way around. It's nice that it's still wet because then as we add in our layers, it'll blend and streak a bit more naturally. Again, protect that eye shape by going around it first and then flicking out. And again, with the outside, you can do that too. Although we're gonna have our feathers going out a little bit onto the sky. So as long as you fill in that white of the canvas, that's what's important. And then I'll mix a little bit with that brown. That's good. Fill in from there, being careful not to mess up our beautiful eye. Okay. So that's good and that's getting down into the body feathers, and then we'll work on that more in just a little while. So I'm gonna take my white and add it to that mix and just start flicking out, flicking out. Add a little brown if it's getting a little too gray, like cool tone. 
owls have natural camouflage, so they have a little bit of that brown color to help them camouflage with the trees. Looking out, and it's okay if it goes down to the body. That's good too, because that's what we'll be working on next. Working out away from the eye to create the facial disc. All right. So next I'm going to be taking my brown mix in black. And so it's a mostly we're gonna get try and get it to be um, an equal combination. So it's kind of like a gray, a warm gray, like the rest of the face. And you can start, it's not too different in coloration from that. If you want it to be a little bit more contrasty, add a bit more black. And we're going to be really doing light, delicate strokes, the light and delicate facial feathers streaking out looking pretty good. And you know what? I think I want a little bit more brown. That looks good. There we go. And it's good if you don't have too much paint on your brush because then the bris bristle strokes will really be apparent. And you can get off a little bit extra on the body because we're gonna be covering that up. Taking your brush and doing those little bristle strokes. And we're just gonna be going slow at first, really. Just adding little bits of paint and then going in, doing some more layers. They have so many layers of feathers. Owls are mostly feathers like many other birds. So nice and light. To help them fly and also keep them insulated. They're warm blooded like us. So when they're cold, they'll floof out their feathers to make a thicker layer of, between them and the outside. That's looking pretty good. So now I want to add in white again, a light color, now that I've got the dark added down to layer those colors. I think I'm going to do a little brown in that white looking pretty gray to me. So I'm going to streak in just straight up brown. Just a little bit here or there. And then I go in with my white after I get a little bit of brown that I can layer on top of. And that brush is not getting the bristles now, so I'm going to wipe it off a bit and get my white on there and streak that in. Really light brush strokes. Little flicking wrist motions. If you want, you can put your elbow on the table to stabilize and then really just do tiny, tiny wrist flicks. More pressure, bigger streak, more paint on there, bigger streak, less paint, less pressure, smaller streaks. And I really try and switch up my sizes. And remember, so I'm gonna take a step back and take a look, what do I think? looking pretty good. Now's a good time to take a break and look at your reference photo. Is it looking how you want it to? 
I know on my reference photo, it's darker on the edges. That white should be concentrated or the lighter color should be concentrated on this cheek section. So I'm gonna take my brown black and darken up the edges a bit more, not too much on my brush to still get it streaky. A little bit more black in that mixture. All right. Then you can go into that facial disc a little bit more and also start to carry that dark color down the side of the owl a bit. All right, that looks good. I think it's a little bit more black and then I'll be pretty happy. I'm not gonna leave just straight up black strokes. I'm gonna build on them, streak them in, and then we'll blend a little bit on the canvas. All right, that looks good. Very nice. So we'll repeat that on this side. transition. I'm going to get that darker color down here a little bit to help with the transition from the head to the body because I want the head feathers that facial dust to continue down and it's hard to have feathers on top of feathers that you haven't painted yet so I'm just going to get this initial base in with that gray brown Kind of cover up the white of the canvas a little bit. And then we're going to be taking our white and flicking down, get that transition. You can do your brush strokes either direction. I need a lot more white if I'm going to get it the way I want it to look. And I need a little bit more brown too. All right. Let's get in a little too one dimensional, so make sure you mix in those colors, keep it streaky, and build from there. Brush is getting a little dirty. Clean that. And again, little strokes. Okay. Step back. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to blend, but not too much. And I do want to keep, maintain the distinction between the face and the body by keeping a lighter color right around here. And it'll be a circular shape approximately. And then it'll darken in this section. 
and lighten again on the breast of the body. Okay, so this is a little bit more blended there, so I'm just gonna add in a little bit of a lighter color and really just do little flicks. And then I think we will be set to move on to the body. Okay, so take a step back. That looks good, except I want more dark underneath the V. So we'll add that really quick. Kind of got lost when we added in our white. So re-add that in. All right, 